Hey, what's going on guys? So today, what I got for you is a little unboxing. Uh, it's not very often I get new knives in. Normally, if I buy a knife uh, or if I have any extra money, uh, which is rare, uh, if I have any money, it's going to supplies to buy to make more knives, but I don't get to share with you guys when I get to buy new knives, and I just did. Uh, so I'm gonna open these. I haven't, obviously, I haven't opened the boxes. Uh, obviously, I know what they are um, because I just recently purchased them, um, but I haven't opened them yet. So this is gonna be my first reaction. And, you know, the hope is that they live up to everything that I hope that it is. Um, first up is the Petrified Fish Beluga. Uh, black stonewashed blade with the yellow G10. Uh, I was really excited about this. I do have a petrified fish um, and I really enjoy it. It's a little bit big um, and obvious, honestly, it's not something I carry too much, but it ends up in my pocket every once in a while. It was a gift my wife got for me and it was a little big. Uh, but this one kind of fit into what I wanted. The old naked column, which is why I kept it because honestly not very sharp. All right, so wow, this thing is packaged much better than I thought it would be. Ooh, okay, got it. Oh. This is more of a struggle than it needs to be. All right, petrified shift, your typical petrified fish box. Uh, of course, I picked the wrong side to open it with. So we're gonna open that. Let's cut that tape. Let's cut this tape. Flip that over, lift this up. All right, so microfiber cloth. Nobody cares about that. And the knife. Oh, it comes with extra bronze washers. I'd help if I put it on the camera. And extra hardware, which is always nice to have extra hardware. And let's get this out of the way, the knife. So perfect size right off the bat, I'm telling you, um, right at that three inch mark is right what I'm looking for when it comes to a blade. And this, I think it's like a right around 3.1, 3 inches, so perfect. G10 looks pretty good. It's got the nice layers. It's contoured nicely. A nice pivot. Look at that clip. Nice low profile, deep carry clip. That's gonna fall right in your pocket. Recessed screws. So even better. Um, centering is pretty much perfect. Uh, this is a front flipper. Uh, it also has this uh, choil in it. So hopefully I can get my finger in there and do that. So let's see, it's been a while since I did a front flipper. Oh, wow, that was really smooth. Um, so let's see, there's the blade, that nice black. They said stone wash, but I don't see much stone wash on there. It's just a black coated blade. Uh, nice yellow G10. Nice four finger grip on it. Get a full full purchase. Got some jimping. It's not too aggressive. Nice jimping. Uh, I know this isn't a new knife to the market, but it's new to me. So this is just my first reactions to it. Um, uh, 14C28N is the steel. So nice steel that good access to the liner lock. Let's see, uh, kind of reverse flick it, let's see. There it is. So yeah, I can reverse flick it with a little bit of extra effort. Um, that access to the lock bar is really good. Nice and smooth action, again, front flipper. Uh. You really got to get in there with your fingernail, probably. Maybe I'll get a little lower. There it is. So the front flipper is probably going to be the best bet, but 
yeah, that lives up to my uh, expectations. I'm really happy with that purchase. I really like, really like that one. So let me put all this away. Um, put all of that away and then we'll break out this one. Um, the next one up, you saw it, is Migron. I think that's how you say it. And I'm not too familiar with their product. I've seen it on other other uh, content providers have seen it. So I've never really got my hands on one. So I'm kind of excited about getting my hands on this one. Um, let me get the plastic off and I'll share with you what the model is. Um, Migron, I'm, like I said, I'm not terribly familiar with everything that Migron is. But if you guys want to check them out, uh, maybe if the phone will pick it up. Yeah. You can see that. Maybe, possibly. Maybe I have too much light going on right now. Let's turn that off. Here's their Instagram. Here's everything. All right, so Migron Knives. Um, get the light back on for you guys. This is the Migron Knives TA 10 handle. All right, must have cut off a bunch of stuff. Um, I forgot what the model is, so I might have to magically put it on the screen or put it in the description. All right, so let's open this guy up without tearing the box up too much. I like to keep the boxes. Uh, I don't like to tear them up too much just in case I decide to resell them. <laughs> like I'm gonna resell anything, please. I have. I wish I probably should resell some stuff and I look at it and I'm like, mm, no, I can't. Cause I use everything. So it's all, it's got marks on it and everything else. And I feel like it would be weird to sell something that has scratch marks or anything else on it. There you go. There's their information again. Um, I'll keep that over here. All right. So, all right. This is another perfectly sized blade, right about three inches. It's a thick boy, huh? That thing is pretty thick. Here, I'll compare it to this one and you can tell it's much thicker so very thick steel liners on that thing overbuilt got that big thumb stud big thumb stud i'm used to you guys being over here for some reason big thumb stud all right you ready well before i open it let's take a look at everything so deep carry clip but it doesn't have recessed screws uh, a gradual lift on the clip so it's not going to get caught on too much when you got it in your pocket. Nice screws. Um, it's deep carry but it's still going to stick out just a little bit. Uh, it has a lanyard hole which I don't use lanyards for my pocket knives so that's not going to really affect me. That was a good action. Oh right off the bat I like the hollow grind that they have on the blade. I like the stonewash finish on the blade and then the hand sanding look on the flats. That's a really good look. I really like that stonewash here and then it was smoothed out up on the flats of the blade. That is a really great touch. I really like that 14C 28 and again, kind of that different kind of a thick Scandi grind almost on this thing nice deep belly uh, to a tip the top is completely flat with a nice deep belly blade that's good action nice and smooth let's see if i can front flip it without cutting my finger i kind of failed on that one let's see oh ah oh, yeah i got it on that one the action is pretty smooth constant it's constant smooth um not going to be super drop shutty you really got to give it a shake to drop it but really good smoothness with the clothes there it is maybe i just got to work it a little bit 
my wife's gonna get annoyed because usually if I get a new knife it sits with me on the couch for a little while and I play with it until I break it in <coughs> so any of you guys do that yeah I do that nice uh, pivot nicely done you know that's good for for the price I think it was um, Oh boy, I forgot the price on it. I'll put it all in the description, but both of these were under $50. I think this one was well under $50. So, you know, hey, a nice two nice budget-friendly knives that I plan on throwing in my pocket for the next couple days. We'll see how that goes. I'll give you guys an update after I've had it for a little while. But so far, I like it.